Well, just hi. <laughs> oh, hi to anybody who's listening <laughs> or anyone who's out there. Um, I've just wanted to tell anybody. <laughs> You've just been on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this is a setup. <laughs> okay. Well, I just wanted to tell everyone about our cupboard. Several people have asked when we've been on Instagram. Um, how we did the cupboards. Paul actually put a, a white wood effect fab, fablon on them. So on the big one, on the fridge, on the drawers underneath, and on all the cupboards along the top. We've got one in the toilet as well, so all of these. And it just does look so much more, well, lighter and modern. We love it, don't we? So we've just, <laughs> we just made the decision that we're going to have it on the loo door as well. So this one, instead of being all brown, it's also going to be white. And hopefully, Paul is going to show you how he does it. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. So, from where you left off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hope that's well. I hope it's going to be good. Mm, <laughs> well, so do I. <laughs> the little ones were reasonably easy. The big one might be a little bit more difficult. Mm. Okay. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Over and out. So, I'm going to cover this door with this stuff. Ooh. Okay, so first thing first, because I'm lazy and I don't want to take the door off the runners because it's sliding door and I've glued the helmet above the top and I actually can't now get it off. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is whip the handle off, then I'm going to take this edging off. I've already taken the slide off the bottom. So you can see that? Yeah. So what I'm going to intend to do, if it works, with someone's shoes in there, mm. is to push it open like that and then cover this bit and then let it flop back again. Put the runner back on and hopefully we're good to go. Okay. So what I'm going to do is on the edge of this door, if you can come up closer yeah. to me, steady cap, um, there's this plastic edging. And if I you get a suitable bit of timber <laughs> and a armor, and then get around the edge and give it a whack. Basically, you can pull that off. So you see that's like a T-piece. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. And that's in the groove in the edge of the plywood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap our white plastic round. And then I'm going to do the back side as well. But you won't see me doing that because mm -hmm. it's going to be too much of a pain. But So basically, go around there and I'll, go around there and I'll whack this back on. But I might paint this white because I think it's going to look funny otherwise. So you just peel that off. And then we shall then get ready to put some vital on. Cut. Cut. So what I've done off that roll, I've cut it roughly to width, allowing a couple of inches either side for cocker, uh, for uh, wastage. <laughs> um, and then if you can see there, I've wedged the door open in a position like that, again, because I You've got the angle of that. What's that doing right down at the floor? Well, it's going down to look down. Just move your arm down a bit. Alright. Was it was seeing it? Was it? Mm. Okay. <laughs> so Yeah. Because I can't be bothered to take that off, as I said, it's too much work. Okay, so I've got that angled like so. And then I've given it a quick rub over with some acetone. Just to get any uh grease and solvents mm. off it just in case there's mm. any uh grease or solvents on it <laughs> and that does smell well oh, nice. <clears throat> so what i'm going to do now hopefully is just peel a bit of this back in a way um, wow we look a bit messy peel a bit of this back in a way <laughs> there we've got it I'm trying not to a bit of a mess like that get your scissors actually better get me a knife so a little knife here on your nice work table on my nice work table i just cut a couple of inches out off there oops straight through like that it's quite dark because we've got a bit of sunshine, but yeah. I think we can just about see. Might have to get a bit closer to it. Right, make sure that doesn't stick to everything in sight. And I'll just kind of come over here. I've got my little squeegee. 
So basically all these bits I've put on with this plastic squeegee. So it's got a hard side and it's got a nice little soft side. So when you rub it over the, the plastic to get all the air bubbles out. Okay? Mm. So this might not go well. <laughs> but you get your bit that you've stuck on and you've taken off. Now what I want to do, because I want to get that to go on up behind the door. So I'm going to stick it like that first off. It's a bit like doing wallpaper. And then basically make sure that that is reasonably straight. So you know you've got enough cover, yeah? Mm. So I'm just going to tease that up into there and hopefully Now you can see now, can you? I'm trying to look round to the side a bit so we can see a bit more. Try and get a bit of a uh, yeah, like that. And then I think what I'll do is I'll worry about that bit at the top later, but at least that's that first ooh, <laughs> first <laughs> few inches are stuck <laughs> up yonder. Don't worry too much about the bubbles because we can pull that back and get them out in a minute. Okay? Okay. So, and then if you grab all the backing paper, try not to rip it, like that, and basically pull that down. That looks really professional. I pull that down the back. Like that. Give yourself a few feet. And then again, just bring it straight down the middle like right that. Again, don't worry too much about the bubbles, so we'll get rid of them in a minute. Just make sure you've got enough to go around the door. Give it that bubble up there so you can just pull it back and then get rid of it. It's pretty good stuff. Oh yeah. So what I'll do, I'll carry on right down to the floor. You don't want to see me stick myself to the carpet. <laughs> and then I'll uh, trim it off afterwards. Okay. Okay. Shall I go away? Cool. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> so. Oh. What's up? <laughs> Sorry about that. It's very good stuff. So I've, I've stuck that across the top, cut it, fold it over, pushed it back in with the uh, harder edge of that. What I'm going to do is let that edge run round in a moment because I want to cut that and put that trim back on it. But on the other side, I can open it up. There's that corresponding plastic piece in there. And also we put a draft excluder on there. So what I'm going to do is just run my sharp knife down that edge. So a bit like you do when wallpapering. Just run the spatula bit down there. And then I'm going to get that sharpie bit and hopefully, if this thing works, run it down the, down there like that. Cut it off at the top, and then that'll just peel away. Because obviously, once the door is shut, you ain't going to see that bit at all anyway. So no. So I'll carry Lovely. on with that. Okay. Trim that off, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do on that edge. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. So that's that side done. The slides back on. I put the handle back on. And then what we're thinking of doing there is doing the back side in white. Do you want me to? Uh, no, I can show you that after. Ah, okay. And I think rather than painting this Oof. this strip, I've just stuck a bit on there. I've just taken a bit off. <laughs> oh, there is it. Down there. Oh no, it's the sunshine on it, sorry. So if I just cut a piece off and sh show you, I think if I wrap that round like that, obviously full length, I think that would look nice. Then when that's banged in there, that should. Uh, I think that'll look blazing. nice, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is cut a uh, strip the A big mm. and then wrestle with that bit. <laughs> Stick that on. I've actually wiped this over with some 
um, acetone, which is why this is sticking like to a blanket, which so it improves adhesion and gets rid of any grease and stuff on it that will obviously stop it from sticking. So it's a good little tip. Not I'm used to giving that little tip. <laughs> but get a nice little rag and some acetone, which is what I use to get my nail varnish off. It's fantastic stuff. I do too, that's funny. Is that why it keeps getting put in the garage? <laughs> I can see you around the muff. Yeah, so that quick wipe over with that. So what I'll do now is I'll get some more of this Fablon vinyl, whatever, and then I'll cover the back over and then I'll put some over this bit and then you'll see me then banging it back on. I might put some glue in it just to hold it, make sure it's going to be sturdy. Okay. Okay for now? Back in 10. Okay. <laughs> what I've done is cut a, like I said, a strip of that off and stuck it on now. Mm. I'll have to go with a bit of acetone. And then it's a simple case, he says, of mm -hmm. running your finger against it and then just tipping that over. I'll try and I think I'll do one, oops, do one side first. But it's one thing, this film is so forgiving. If you do get in a bit of a pickle, strop. <laughs> shall, I, shall I just show the what's that left over? Yes, if you can, yes. <laughs> uh, These are just soft cuts, they're not, you know, <laughs> to wobble around. This is a clean up job in a moment. Unfortunately, you do get a lot of wastage. <laughs> but there you go. So. Yeah, a big case of uh, feeding that all down through there. Yeah, it's not easy to do, but oh yeah, if you grab on my end, oh. grab on your end, just pull it tight. That's what she said. <laughs> Actually, I might do it that way. I'll try that. Tell me to when to stop pulling. No, yeah, keep pulling. You hold it tight. That's it. Get both hands around it. I was going to say I can't. Okay, well, I feel like I can grab hold of it. Don't matter. You've got all the old things. Mm -hmm. That's it. And then I'm just going to run my fingers around it. To... This is the most weird video I've ever made. <laughs> you can actually see what I'm doing, can you? Yeah, and I'm pulling the other end. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'm, sure. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to hold things straight here. Uh... This is the sort of thing you're probably going to get struck off of YouTube. <laughs> Tell me when to stop pulling. Doing. No, you're right. You keep pulling it tight and then it's... Uh... Oh yes, yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> Uh, that seems to be coming out again all right. Lovely. But what I might do is just run the hair dryer over the edges after I've finished. You did do that on the um, cupboards, didn't you? Yeah, it basically... Oops, it, um, did it pull again or not? Yeah. It just helps the adhesion of it, but because I've gone... This is plastic on plastic, so it's sort of... Not quite as good. Oops. No, it sticks really well. Oh, so, does it? All yeah. right. I'm hoping that will be good enough. So you can put it off, and it's, it's quite nice. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to run my nail down there now. No, well, mind you, I'm backing you into keep, the table oh, now. Sorry. <laughs> you, keep, you probably let go now, actually. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for your assistance. <laughs> So, this is fun. riveting stuff, isn't it? I think so. But it does remind me of, uh, was it Valerie Singleton? Well, there's not many people who can remember, are they? An old Peter Purvis. <laughs> <laughs> and that dog. I don't remember. Do you remember? Old Blue Peter? <laughs> you. You remember. You remember, you remember, you remember in black and white. <laughs> right, so that. I'll turn this off now, I think. <laughs> that, that looks right, doesn't it? I decided I better so. than painting it because I don't think paint's going to stay on the rail. So now I'm going to get my dodgy knife and I'm just going to run it down the back of that. Oh, no uses. What's dodgy about it? A bent blade on it. Oh, okay. Can you see that? And I'll hold it up again. Okay. Let me use a useful table. <laughs> so I've got my bent knife. Can you see that? Yeah, we can see it now. Sorry. Right, so I'm just going to run it. Can you get close up? I'm going to run it down the back edge of that. So it'll free up that 
without slitting my wrist. I'm looking at your hands more than anything else. I know. It's probably my best feature, I think. What do you think? Mm. <laughs> so, if you don't go through, oops, go through too hard, otherwise you'll... You ruined the table you made earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, now I'll just get me suitable implement. And then I'm going to feed, feed that in at the top there and see what it's like. If it holds it in there nice and tight, then I probably won't need to put the glue on it. But Oh no, that's nice. Oh yes, that's nice. Oh yes, that's <laughs> nice. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is just run my fingers around that and make sure that it's pulled in nice and tight. And then as you can see on the outside, just pull that up like that. And just sort of work it in. To that in a minute. This. Probably should clean my hammer, it's leaving a nasty mark. But <laughs> so just uh, whack that on there, and hopefully, looks good. That looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Tap time, and then I'll make sure I so get the dirty marks off. We'll have uh, just a picture of the final, final bit, the final closed. So, uh, shut up like that. Super. Yeah. I think it does need a little bit of work on that bottom bit. Yeah, I'll we'll just shunt it off it a bit. And I'll unscrew the handle on, on the inside. Back after these adverts. <laughs> okay. Right, ready. It's lovely. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, apart from all the mess, we could have cleaned the mess up, couldn't we? Well, as I say, where are they gone? Every on there, so, I there know. Go. Doesn't that look nice? It does look nice. So in case you're wondering what that noise is, I'll put a draft excluder on the back mm. of the door, which it stops it rattling. I know that sounds like it's rattling, but it used to rattle, drive me mad. But uh, yeah, no, it does I mean, sound like the right. thing on Star Trek, doesn't it, when the door yeah. <laughs> is expecting to see... Oh look, there's someone up there. Mr. Sulu, whatever's he's, coming. He's been watching. I might have to undo that. I think it's going to hold. What's that? The, uh, not on the inside, but uh, I think that's it. Thank you. So, thank you for watching. More next week. <laughs> um, um, I was just going to get rid of all it'd this. It'd be lovely no. if you could subscribe to us, wouldn't it? That's it. I was on that yeah, it's channel. Yeah, on that channel. Yeah, please going? subscribe. Give us one of them. Don't give us. Well, you can give us one of them. We're not really that. Whatever. Yeah. But okay. okay. Thanks ever so much, everyone. Yes. Thank you, Susan, for holding the camera. And now we'll we'll wrap. Wrap everything up now. We're wrapping up. That's <laughs> good. I like it. See what she did there. Okay, bye everyone. Oh, we're going on. I'll do the smack in the face. Bye. Bye.